Hello, this is Pastor Jay with Walk Truth Radio Podcast with your encouraging word for today. It is motivated and inspired by the word time. Christmas is now over. It's the next day and we're heading towards a new year. So my question to you is, how do you look at the time that has passed and your time going forward? Your time that has passed is spent. So how do you use it? How do you uh, uh, benefit from it? You benefit from time past by simply growing in knowledge and wisdom, being able to use whatever happened in that time past so you can grow in the wisdom to go forward, using your mistakes in your time past to not make the same mistakes as you go forward, using the good thought processes and the good philosophies and the good strategies that you came up with in the past, knowing that you can use them to move forward in your future. Time is the most valuable commodity a person can have. It starts at their birth. And at the beginning of their birth, it heads towards an end. And as you go through time, not knowing how much time you have left, it's as precious and is more precious than anything in this world. Even the breath you have left is given in time. So what are you going to do with the time you have left? Are you going to take advantage of it? Are you going to grow? Are you going to do things that you never thought you would be doing? Or are you going to sit there and let time be wasted? It is so funny that time can be wasted just by sitting and doing and just letting time live out your life. Not achieving, not growing, just letting time and believing that you'll have more time tomorrow. But you and I both know if you live any time, you need to live as if today is your last day. As if there's not going to be any time tomorrow. You have to decide what you're going to do with the time you have left. Are you going to surround yourself with people who love you and care for you and and want to be with you? Or are you going to go with the status quo and tend to just let time surround you, surround yourself with people who really don't mean you any good? Are you going to be a positive influence on somebody else's time that they would be able to draw from you and drink from your cup of knowledge and wisdom? Time. It's a terrible thing to waste. Because in time, a great mind can be used, misused, or just simply forgotten. What will you have learned? from the wasted time that you spent in the past? How will you go forward from the times that you made a mistake and much more? What are you going to do with the time you have left? Only you know that. Change is inevitable and you won't be able to escape it. Either you're going to flow with it or get taken away by it. But to resist it, as they say in Star Trek, is futile. You are changing. You're either growing as you head towards that day. Or you're yielding the seeds of one who wasted their time and become a fool. Time waits for no one. Time marches on. Time yields its crops. And yet time could be the thing you run out of in the next second. So we give God the glory for the time. And we know God can renew and redeem the time. So your challenge is, what are you going to do with the time you have left? This is Pastor Jay. I'm out of time. I always want you to be encouraged to be blessed. And this is a time to reflect on time again be at peace and walk in truth hello this is Pastor Jay with Walk in Truth Radio Podcast and I want to invite all those within the St. Louis metropolitan area and around the world to come worship with us every Sunday at 8 a.m. at the Universal Church of Jesus Christ building, 
located at 2301 Wallace Avenue, Overland, Missouri, 63114. We also have our Rescue Addiction Recovery Program on Mondays from 7 p.m. until 8 p.m. Our Bible studies are held every Tuesday at 11 a.m. and 7 p.m. You can also catch us, follow us, and subscribe to us on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and Twitter. Please come out and join us, follow us, follow our podcast, but most of all, Get saved, sanctified, and full of the Holy Ghost. And always remember, walk in truth. And if you'd like to contact me by email, you can do so by going to walkintruthministries at yahoo.com or w-i-t-m-i-n at yahoo.com. Thank you and bless you. And we look forward to worshiping and fellowshipping with you. Peace.